Welcome to the Center on Technology and Disabilities series on technology implementation strategies that work. This video is part of Unit 5, Supporting Your Teachers. In Video 2, we discuss ways to provide access to technology and support. The goals of this unit are to plan ways to integrate technology into professional development opportunities, both face-to-face -face and blended learning, provide ongoing support to teachers, and develop policies and procedures to help teachers, parents, and students. The purpose of this video is to begin planning for providing ongoing support to teachers and develop policies and procedures to support teachers, parents, and students. Technology use and implementation throughout the district and school building requires continuous support and a systemic process through which teachers can access assistance when experiencing technical difficulties with technology. If teachers and students are frustrated, technology is less likely to be regularly implemented. Therefore, it will not contribute to student improvement. A reliable network infrastructure is essential in any digital environment. Again, if technology options are not reliable or are difficult to use, it can lead to frustration among teachers and a lack of use with students. In contrast, when teachers, students, and parents can access an instructional network anytime and anywhere, using technology to enhance instruction increases student engagement and communication and simplifies information sharing. For example, teachers are able to upload lessons and homework assignments to the network for student and parent access or to quickly send messages to all parents. To maximize usefulness of technology, digital materials and resources must be available wherever print materials are currently being used, at school, home, grandma's house, the park, the orthodontist's office, and so on. Full access to digital resources can lengthen the school day, and more time leads to better results. Work with your technology coordinators to ensure that your schools are equipped with adequate bandwidth to support technology devices that have been selected. Students and teachers must have ready and consistent access to online resources to support teaching and learning. Usage can be monitored and possible bottlenecks identified before they affect teaching and learning. Seek advice from device manufacturers on network specifications and on developing networks that will support the devices you have chosen to implement within your district or school. Most districts and schools will need to update and overhaul their connectivity plans, and it is important to fully understand the financial and physical network requirements needed to handle the amount and types of anticipated usage. In addition to equipping the school building with secure and reliable connectivity, the leadership team will need to develop key policies and procedures to support continual implementation. Key decisions include, but are not limited to, when and how to support student-owned devices, including cell phones, the provision of wireless internet access off school premises, the level of support that will be provided to students who are economically disadvantaged, whether or not students will be allowed to take home devices owned by the district, parental and student agreement forms on caring for devices at home, maintenance and service plans, charging and storage needs, and ways for teachers and students to access technical support as needed. Beyond access, leadership teams will benefit from creating a plan for supporting teachers' use of technology tools. A first step would be to create and maintain an inventory of all available technology tools in the school, in the district, and at local technical assistance centers. Teachers need to know what is available and how to access it. For more information on conducting a technology inventory, 
refer to the videos and resources in Unit 4, Budgeting for Educational Technology. Once you have developed your inventory and established procedures for teachers to access devices, you need to define how you will communicate this information to the teachers in the building. If teachers do not know processes for accessing technology within the building, they are not likely to integrate tools into their lessons. Review your plan on an ongoing basis to ensure your inventory is current and your technology tools are accessible, and identify new strategies and support teacher use of technology as needed. Teachers will need clear guidance on the procedures for accessing devices, as well as technical support when devices fail to operate as expected. Please refer to the tools and templates provided in Unit 5 in the Learning Center on the Center for Technology and Disability website to support your work. Thanks for watching Part 2 of our unit on supporting your teachers. For more information, please continue using the Center on Technology and Disability.